Hey everyone, Thomas from MasteringExplained.com here. In this video, we're going to talk about Dither, how to use it and when to use it. And it's uh, actually very simple. Let's have a look. Dither is one of the simplest yet most misunderstood concepts in uh, digital audio. And it's actually very simple to decide how and when to use Dither. And that is, you turn it on if you are going to export anything to 16 bits or 24 bits. Then you enable the dither. And when you're working within a DAW, then usually all the processing done in the DAW is done in 32 bits or 64 bits floating point. And whenever you want to leave the environment of the door when you want to write to a file you want to export a file or bounce it or render it or, or whatever it's called then you need to enable the dither if you are going to a 16-bit file or to a 24-bit file so we need to make sure that dither is enabled and dither it's a it's a fundamental part of making digital audio work as it is intended and it's actually kind of strange that we're even given a choice to disable Dither when exporting. And there are actually very few occasions when it's appropriate to disable the Dither. And on those occasions, uh, there's also virtually no harm in leaving the Dither enabled anyway. We'll just get a tiny bit more noise in the exported file. On the other hand, if we disable dither when it's actually needed, which is most of the time, then we might introduce something that is called truncation distortion. And this sounds very bad. That was a very exaggerated example, but that's how it sounds. If we enable dither, then we replace this ugly truncation distortion with noise instead. much better, right? And remember that these examples are very exaggerated and all of this is happening at a very low level, way below the actual music. But it's, it's still there. Okay, so what kind of dither should you use then? Because most DAWs have several options that you can choose from. Which one should you choose? Well, you should use whatever is built into your door and is presented as the standard dither. This is usually a dither called TPDF, uh, which is a technically correct type of dither that will always work as intended. And that's what I use as well. And if you want to try other kinds like power or UV22 or IDR or whatever dither and noise shaping alternatives there are just go ahead and do so try them out see what you like just remember that as long as you enable dither when you export the actual kind of dither that you use is not very important it's among the least important decisions that you will make during mastering at least in my opinion i know others have other opinions but that's my opinion so the takeaway from this video is that enable dither whenever you're exporting to 16 or 24 bit files and you'll be fine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.